Hey everybody, Joe Rex with Adam Sparks here at Vanderbilt Stadium where the Commodores beat the Vols 38-13, Adam. I think we both had Vanderbilt winning. I did not have Vanderbilt rolling. About 25. I had about 25. Is that right? Yeah, I, I'm yeah, going to go can, look. You can, you can check that. Yeah. Did you, you went back in the file and changed it, didn't you? You can <laughs> we, do that. We can do that. You now. actually could. Uh, no, I mean, I look, I, I think uh, I've kind of suspected all year that Vanderbilt was a little bit better team. Uh, but today they looked like a much better team, a much more desperate team, more together team. Uh, get the bowl game. Get, I think, a win that they, Derek Mason really, really needed in his fifth season. What's the most important thing to come out of this? Well, the, the biggest thing, I think, individually is the least surprise, which is Kyle Shermer was about the best player in the country. Now, 31-35, 367 yards. Uh, that broke his own record for a single-game completion percentage. That's not so much a surprise. The, the way he got it, though, uh, start 15 and 15. Derek Mason said what happened is they came out and UT loaded up the box and kind of dared Kyle Shermer to throw it. And I can understand that to some extent because Keyshawn Vaughn has run the ball pretty well this year. But Kyle Shermer is the best game of his freshman year was against UT. Best of his sophomore against was UT. Best of his junior year was against UT. Best of his senior year was against UT. And so he did what he's done his whole career, which is towards UT. And uh, that's how Vandy got up 17 nothing, and that's how they ran away with this one. Yeah, Keyshawn Vaughn gets hurt. He, he was still running well despite the packed box. Catching the ball a little bit too, gets hurt, leaves. That's where they have depth. Kari Blassingham had a really good game today, but also on Shermer, it wasn't just Kalijah Lipscomb and Jared Pinkney. He, he, I mean, C.J. Bowler, huge game, his career game, and some other guys, their first – but the three combined career catches and now two touchdowns? Yeah, Cody Markle, the tight end, who's a – he's a blocking tight end. He was on the scout team two years ago. Kyle Shermer called him a yackle. A yackle. Uh, so that's uh, first catch, first touchdown. Uh, Amir Abdur Rahman uh, had one catch last week, which is his first catch. It gets a second catch of his career today. Which the the play of the down. game, I think, 24-7, yeah. and it was a, an amazing catch. Yeah, and so they spread it around so much, uh, you know, there was only one period where you thought maybe UT was going to make a game of this after Ty Chandler goes 75 yards first play of the second half, and then Vandy missed a field goal, and you thought maybe this is where it turns. Stalled inside the five. Yeah, but it 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 didn't. I mean that that threat was over real quick. I think for one, I think UT didn't have the offense to come back, and I think Vandy just put too much pressure on Garantano. I, I, it just didn't have the feel beyond about maybe that five minute period that UT had a chance to rally. So it's three straight for the first time since the 20s. Again, I think for Derek Mason to get his second bowl game in his fifth year, and you know, he's still trying to have his first non-losing season, which will be determined in the bowl game. But I thought it was just critical for him and his program because next year they're going to lose, we know Shermer and probably some other guys who are not seniors. Uh, so big from that perspective, I thought the celebration, you could see how much, they didn't say anything before the game, but you could see how much this meant to them after the game. And I think, I thought the post-game presser with the five players shed a little light on the closeness of this yeah. Vanderbilt team. They are a really close team, and I think you have to be in this league to get the six wins. Yeah, usually they separate offensive players and defensive players. and say you have five, five seniors crowd in and say, we're going to do this together. That speaks a lot to the, the uh, togetherness of this team. They've been through this before. Two years ago, they were kind of counted out. you got to win the last two and beat UT to get to a bowl. Same setup two years ago. They got to a bowl. Uh, they did in this one. Bowl-wise now, this is a good year to get a bowl bid for Vandy because normally they would slide to the Independence or Burma. Birmingham, the way the numbers work out, they will likely not fall that far. You're going to be in one of the six bowls, the uh, SEC Outback, Tax Slayer, Texas, Music City Bowl, Liberty Bowl, Belk. That's the group of six that they're probably going to land in. Now those first three, probably not. Music City, maybe Liberty, a little more chance. I think Belk or Liberty is probably your destination. But those will kind of work themselves out over the next week. Last thing. Derek Mason said a lot of things in his post game. An interesting thing that I think is going to, you know, he said nice things about Jeremy Pruitt and all that, but he, he came back with the Nashville's our city. You know, I've, I've seen a lot of a lot of times of talk back and forth on that about Twitter. What did you think about that? I know it's a, for him it's a recruiting thing for one thing, but but obviously he's really pushing this idea. Yeah, I mean, Vanderbilt is never going to control the state. You heard Kyle Shermer at the end say, this is our state. That's that's really good to say that in the rivalry. Tennessee is never going to be the state of Vanderbilt, a private school, Nashville, smaller. But you should be able to control your city, and I think that's where they need to start. That's where they're trying to start. As long as Vanderbilt is, is Nashville's team, I think you can make a whole lot of hay there. So, big win for Vanderbilt, tough loss for Tennessee. Vanderbilt will find out its bowl destination soon, and we have tons of coverage at Tennessean.com. Thanks for watching.